When you go into the quiz list, there's going to be two kinds of views. Those views are affected only by you as the instructor. So I want to show you what that is and what that means. So I'm in my course here. I'm going to go to content. And I'm going to go to quizzes. Uh, this quiz list is the best way to manage your quizzes and take care of everything as opposed to going through the content area. So in here you'll see a view. The view by default is by availability. And then you also have a view by category. Uh, I don't have any of these quizzes in categories, but I'll put them in a category and show you what that means. So by availability means that with any dates, the quiz is going to show up to the student based on that availability. In other words, the next quiz that's due will, put, will show up, the quiz after that will show up, and so on. Now what's interesting is from a student perspective, they have no control over this view, uh, either by availability or by category. You are the one that actually affects that. So let me show you by availability. I'm going to go up here into this area here. I'm going to click this as a view as a student. That's called a roll switch. So I'm viewing this as a student. So if a student comes into the quiz area, the quiz list, as it's called, you'll notice that it'll say current quizzes. It'll tell when the quiz ends, how many attempts they have left. But notice that they do not have any kind of available, any view in this particular case. So let me go back as the instructor. I'm going to go ahead back into quizzes. And if I change this to by category and click apply, it'll say without category. So I'm going to go ahead in and put a category on here. And this category, by the way, has absolutely nothing to do with the gradebook. This category is just simply a way of organizing your quiz list. So if a student does come to it and you want to see it by category, it makes some more sense to them. So maybe this is for project one. And I have all of my quizzes for project one under there. I'm going to go ahead and save and close that. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and edit this one. And again, I'll put a new category here and call it project two. There's no need to have a category if you don't want to, but you can if you want. And then if you choose it by category and apply, you'll see from the student perspective, now when a student comes into the quiz list area, they see it by category. So they'll see all the quizzes for project one, all the quizzes for project two, and again, the dates will show up for them. Personally, I don't think that's the best idea. Uh, personally, I am going to use, uh, going back into the quiz list, I'm going to keep the view by availability and apply. I think this makes the most sense, but you have a choice in this case, but students do, know, do not.